Astronomers have been searching for a mysterious planet they call Planet Nine. Now, it's not like they just saw it through a telescope. They actually haven't seen it at all, but they believe it's out there. Why? Because something strange is happening with the orbits of tiny icy objects way out there. They're not moving the way they should. It's like something big is pulling on them. Something invisible. Kinda spooky, right? This mystery has been going on for years. Scientists believe this unknown planet is maybe 5 to 10 times bigger than Earth, but they just haven't found it yet. It's super far away and doesn't reflect a lot of light, so it's basically hiding in the darkness. But recently, while looking for signs of Planet 9, astronomers found something unexpected. A new object, discovered in 2017, that might actually make things even more confusing. They call this object 2017 Off 21. The name sounds weird, but here's what's cool. It might be a new dwarf planet. Scientists spotted it by checking telescope images from the past seven years. They didn't just see it once. They saw it 19 times in those old photos. From that, they figured out its orbit, and it's wild. This thing has a super stretched out orbit. When it's closest to the sun, it's about 44 times farther than Earth. That's already way past Pluto. But when it's farthest away, it's more than 1,600 times farther than Earth. That's like outer edge of the solar system territory. One full orbit takes about 25,000 years. That's longer than all of human history. And it's not being pulled by Neptune or anything nearby. It's just floating out there, doing its own thing. That made scientists think, how did this object end up in such a weird orbit? One idea is that a giant planet, maybe even Planet 9, gave it a massive push a long time ago. That's kind of like how you flick a marble and it flies off the table. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Over the years, scientists noticed that a bunch of other small objects out past Neptune, called TNOs or trans-Neptunian objects, seem to be orbiting in a strange way. They're all kind of grouped together, tilted and stretched in the same direction. That usually means something big is messing with them, something we can't see. That's the main reason they believe Planet 9 exists. But wait, remember off to Algen 1? It doesn't follow that pattern at all. Its orbit is way off compared to the others. That's a problem. Because if Planet 9 is really out there, and it's shaping the orbits of those other objects, then off to Algen 1 shouldn't be where it is. Some simulations even say that if Planet 9 existed the way we think it does, off to Algen would have been flung out of the solar system a long time ago. So now we're stuck. Either off to Algen 1 is a total space oddball, or the whole Planet 9 theory might be wrong. That's a big deal, because a lot of scientists have been trying to prove Planet 9 is real, and now this one little dwarf planet is making them question everything. And guess what? Off to Algen 1 only spends about 1% of its time close enough to Earth for us to even spot it. That means we were super lucky to catch it now. If we hadn't, it could have stayed hidden for thousands of years. And if there's one like this, maybe there are lots more out there we haven't seen yet. Right now, off to Algen 1 is still close enough for follow-up observations, but astronomers have to wait a bit. They're planning to try using super powerful telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope to study it more. That would be awesome, because James Webb can see really far and really clearly. Now just because off to Algen 1 is weird doesn't mean Planet 9 is fake. One of the scientists who helped create the Planet 9 theory, Konstantin Batigan, said this new object doesn't really help or hurt the theory. It's just kind of unrelated. Another scientist, Si Hao Cheng, who discovered off to Algen 1, said he's still hopeful they'll find Planet 9 one day. He actually started the project hoping to find it, so he's not giving up. And here's where it gets even crazier. A team in Taiwan might be closer than ever to actually finding Planet 9. They used a super smart method. Instead of just looking for something big and bright, they compared two old sky maps, one from 1983 and another from 2006. They were looking for something that moved just a tiny bit over those 23 years. They found a faint dot in both maps, and even though it was super far apart, like 47 arc minutes, it might be the same object slowly moving. If it's real, this object could be more massive than Neptune. That's huge, but there's a catch. We don't know exactly where it is now, so we need to search a big part of the sky again to find it. They'll probably use the dark energy camera in Chile, or wait for the new Vera Rubin Observatory to help with this. These telescopes are powerful enough to scan big parts of the sky and hopefully find that mystery object again. But not everyone is convinced. Remember Mike Brown? 
He helped propose the Planet 9 theory too. He looked at the new Taiwan data and said, yeah, maybe it's real, but I'm not so sure. That's because this new object's orbit seems tilted in the opposite direction from what Planet 9's orbit should be. It's almost like it's going backwards compared to the other planets. So here's where we are. We've found weird things, we've got clues, but we still don't know if Planet 9 is real. And while Off 200 and and the mystery dot might not be Planet 9, they are super interesting. They show us that our solar system is still full of surprises. Maybe Planet 9 is out there quietly orbiting in the dark, waiting for us to find it. Or maybe the strange orbits are caused by something else, like a group of smaller objects, or something we haven't even thought of yet. Space is like that, full of mysteries and maybes.